I'm meteorologist Chris Kubal. Thank you for stopping by WeAreIowa.com. Let's take a look at that forecast for Tuesday evening. Thunderstorms billowing up, especially along the I-80 corridor in points southwards, building that severe threat up as we go through the evening and as storms move south. Initially, hail is going to be the largest threat, up to two inches in diameter with those largest hailstones, and then kind of culminating into a line as things move southwards evolving into more of a wind threat 60 to 70 miles per hour tornado threat is on the low side with this round here's future casting you see that activity right around i-80 and then pushing southwards as it continues to blossom here's a scene at eight o'clock uh, there is the possibility that we trail a couple of storms in closer to midnight but most of this should be out of here shortly after there are some inconsistent signals that a second round may develop pushing in closer to three o'clock. I don't like that scenario, especially if we see on Tuesday evening into the start of the overnight a widespread blossoming of storms that should chew up most of the energy needed uh, to sustain a second round. So I don't think that second round is in the cards as it sits right now. Refreshing air settling in for Wednesday. The temperature slash the dew points will be slashed. We'll be looking for that next round of rain incoming Thursday night into Friday morning. Still looking at flood warnings along the Des Moines River. Thankfully with this round, it's more centered over southern Iowa areas that could actually use a drink of water. I do think there's streaks of one to three inches of rainfall, but everything should remain fairly progressive and we should see a minimal flash flooding risk out of this round. 71 degrees for the overnight low tonight and again humidity levels will come down for Wednesday, calling for a high of 85. Mostly sunny conditions after a couple of early clouds still loitering from that overnight activity. Temperatures across central Iowa, mid to upper 80s. Uh, in the works. And again, those dew points coming down that muggy meter is slashed for a couple of days. Temperatures actually back in the 70s on Thursday will briefly spike back up there, both in the temperatures and the humidity level for Friday as another cluster of storms is incoming. Uh, as we go early into the morning on Friday could regenerate after some midday heating there towards the evening time frame too in an isolated manner. Temperatures bouncing around actually quite comfortable through the weekend, but getting closer to the 4th of July holiday, those temperatures are expected to spike upwards once again.